Hey guys, Purely Awesome Cuber here, and today I'll be comparing the GANS 356 with the MoYu Tang Long. So these two cubes are um, very different in a lot of ways, but very similar too. The uh, the Gans 3 is uh, $23, whereas the Tang Long is only like 16 or around there. So that is a big difference. Also, the stickers on the Gans 3 um, are a lot duller and not as good quality. Like you can see, it's chipping right there already. And the Tang Long has the standard Moyu shades, which are uh, great and good quality. So. That is already maybe like a deal breaker, especially the price. But uh, for the actual performance of these cubes, uh, let's get on to that. So, I'll start with corner cutting. Corner cutting on the Gans 3 is way over 45 degrees with no effort. And reverse is way over, well, a little over a piece. And that takes even more, uh, or even less effort. But... Surprisingly, even uh, with the fantastic corner cutting, I still get uh, catches on this cube. And it's most likely because uh, if you see the corners are squared off and they can catch on the center sometimes like that. Um, so this cube does catch sometimes, but um, the corner cutting in itself is fantastic. But I do still experience some catches and lockups during solves. Now for the Tang Long. Tang Long can also do 45 and a little over. And Reverse is maybe a little under a piece. So that can cause lockups for me. But not they're not as bad. And they can be easily fixed. Like if I try and go like that, it'll lock up a little. But it'll still cut it. Um, and they're not as bad as the ones on the Gans where sometimes it can like get all weird on you. That's because this cube is very flexible. So... But yeah, anyway, this cube does have okay corner cutting. It's not the best. It's not better than the Gans. But I definitely say this cube flows better than the Gans 3. So, the Gans has better outright corner cutting, but the Tang Long is overall more fluid. So now for um, any, like, popping or any issues like that. Neither one of these cubes pops at all, so there's nothing really to go over much there. Uh, they never pop, and they both have the new squared off corner design. So corner twists are uh, very rare if they happen at all, which I don't really think they do. So neither one of these cubes really pops or corner twists. And now finally for the turning. Um, both of these cubes, I'd say, are a little slower than your average cube nowadays, but the Gans is definitely faster. And it's also very quiet compared to the Tang Long. And the Gans is also very smooth. It's almost gummy, but it's not that slow. It, it just really glides along and uh, feels very nice. But this ties into the fluidity a little bit. Um, this cube is very unstable and can deform easily. It doesn't pop, but it can really easily, like deform like that so that can also contribute to lockups like if in a solve it's like that and then it, it's just a, a big mess so this cube doesn't feel that stable although it won't pop it feels kind of uh, flimsy now for the Tang Long it's quite the opposite you can hear how it's loud and kind of crunchy it's also uh, smooth and also a little slower but um, it feels very stable and like it's totally never going to pop on you, which is true. And I do uh, really enjoy the stable feeling of the Tang Long. So, yeah, these cubes have kind of opposite feels. This is more crunchy while it's still smooth and it's a little slower. Where this is still kind of slow, but it's more gummy and smooth. And then it's kind of flimsy. So... Overall, my personal preference would be the Tang Long, and I'd recommend the Tang Long, especially because it's a lot cheaper, 
but uh, you can go ahead and make your own decision. The Gans is a lot smoother, but a little more flexible, and the Tang Long is a little more crunchy, but uh, feels more stable. So that's this week's Clash of the Cubes. I'll have some suggestions down below for the next comparison, just like whichever comment you want. And yeah, thanks for watching, guys.